Que grande dia, Bacha. Hello. I am the angel Gahil of the Nine Realms. Hey, bidding Gahil. you greetings. Greetings, Gahil. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. The word is that the Lord is coming. He will come to you and tell you things that will help you. As a species, as a race, as individuals. He has told me to come before him and make an announcement. Thank you. He will not let you down. He gives you many blessings ahead of time. And will come. And when he comes, the disruptions on the earth will be still for those moments that he is here. He brings you blessings. Thank you. That now Jim and I will do channeling session. I will ask questions and Jim will channel whoever comes. We invite Jesus Christ, any gods, angels, higher beings, any representative from any friendly civilization, anyone who wouldn't harm Jim coming through his body. It is time that I arrive in this format. Hello. Hello. This format seems to collect beings of higher vibration and light. Are you Jesus? Yes. Welcome, Jesus. I have promised to come. Thank you for coming. Yes. I waited for you for a long time. This format is not something that I am doing often, but I find it important. The words that I must say to you all today, those who will listen, will be the ones who need to listen, are not new words, but they are words of importance and joy. I come from perpetual joy, and when I come here I see the grief, and I see the sorrow, and I see the needs but be comforted that you won't have to bear them forever. There are reasons for your needs. There are reasons for your wants and desires. You must learn. If, if I could, gave you miracles every day, you would not appreciate them. But the small miracles seem to work out the best. And you know what I mean by that. But let me talk about your community of light workers. I'm thrilled that so many of you are coming along in the light. You can even get closer to a community by sharing your story with those around you. When I tell you story, I mean tell them about who you really are. Hold nothing back, for if they are challenged by your story, then they need more light. And you can give it to them. Let me explain. There are things in each human that are dark. It's there from the beginning. It's because of how you are made, where you are made, and the things around you. It's intentional. Yes, I know, it seems like a bad thing to do, but no, it's a learning tool, it's a learning curve to bring you to understandings for the sake of other people and yourself. If you have things within you, a story to tell to someone else, include the darkness as well, because they have darkness within them as well. And you know what? Get rid of it. 
If you can't tell someone, tell me. And then get rid of it. Get rid of that darkness. Forgive yourself for it. Because you need to be as close to light as you can be in this day and age. And as you become closer to light, people will see that their stories will not be taken as a joke. And they will not laugh whenever you tell their, your story to them, and vice versa. This will unite your souls in the light, which is far greater than a friendship. When your souls are united, you cannot help but rise. Oh, not to say that you'll be perfect, and not to say that there won't be difficulties and lessons to learn. But it is to say that in your times of grief, you will have something to fall back on. That you will find something in you that is stronger than the earthly body, than stronger than the earthly emotions, stronger than the most earthly mindset. It will be in your spirit and it will light a light within you. Do you understand that? I am sure that you've heard my parables in the Old Testament and New Testament about different kinds of wisdom to be portrayed through clever twists of words and visions. But within your culture at this time, I would just be straightforward and tell you that the light is there and the closer to the light you get, the less you'll need of anything else. Yes, my disciples were all good men when I was back there on earth, and it seems like just yesterday. They were simple men. They were good men. But they learned how to use the light. They learned how to be strong in the light. There was no more fear within them. There was only joy in passing the light on to others. And you can see that if you read that, if you can understand where they're coming from. They did not need wealth. They did not need a lot of possessions. But what they got helped them survive, and they survived well. Back to the future, where we are now. Hmm. Let me talk about another thing that troubles me about your planet. Oaths and promises and words. I would like you to make sure that the words that come out of your mouth are pure. Because this is your legacy. The golden truth that comes out of your mouth. The spoken oath. The promise. Keep these. If you keep these oaths and promises and agreements, then you will be respected and known as an honorable person. This is true light because it will bring light to your life. It will bring energy to you because your word will be golden. And this will help dig out any darkness within you because you want to be honest and you know those things that you keep behind that are unforgiven and unshown and kept in dark spaces. They hold you back. You must let them go. In any way that you find necessary to let them go, let them go. Yes, be not troubled. Because you know there is someone, there is someone that will listen. I will listen. But to speak the words to someone else and have them understand and not put you down is a wonderful thing. And this is the kind of community that you need to be a part of. You need to be a part of a purer community. Oh, there will be some that still harbor things. But yet they will understand where you are coming from. They will understand the light and how I come into the scene, so to speak. 
Yes, I am energy. I do not die. And I am joy. And I am love. And I am happiness. But I can also be part of sorrow to lift you out of it. Does that make sense to you? I can be anything. But what I want to be, love, joy, and strength, hope, and happiness for your lives, light to light up your pathway so that you can move forward and not just stay in one space. Does that make sense to you? Also, I see that there is contempt for politics and society. Do not hate anything. Do not hate it. Accept that it is there. You do not have to accept that it is good, but you do not have to hate. Hate is unnecessary. Hate is unnecessary. That is something that you will need to learn to move up in your vibrations. Some of you have already grasped that concept. Some of you are far beyond that, which I love. And I respect you for that. And I give you my blessing for that. But there are those of you who find contempt and hate as part of your lives still. You must not hate. How do you get rid of hate? Learn that these are the acts of men and women who do not know the light that you know, that do not understand the truth about the universe, and then forgive them and welcome them if they should come to you. Do not accept all that they have to say. You can be righteously opposed, but not in hate. Not in hate. Not in hate. For that is a lower vibration that we don't want any part of. And the less we have a part of it, the better. I'm not just saying that you'll ever reach a perfect light in this world. It is impossible. There's too much darkness here. But you can escape it more than you have to accept it. My children, the people of Earth, I understand what you're going through now. It's a time of change, but change is inevitable, and change is for the good. Even though it may not seem so at the time, changes, changes will always come. And so learn to accept them. There are those of you that change is your burden. You do not want to change. You like the way things are now. Learn that the light moves with you and grows with you. It's part of the change. It's part of who you are. A change is fine. Whether it seems good or bad or indifferent, a change is fine for you. Learn it with love. Learn it with understanding and joy. And see what it may bring you as far as benefits. Do not always look at the part that looks negative. There may be benefits that you do not see. Search for them. Seek and you shall find. And with that I say, thank you for listening. I am very happy that the world is coming to a place where I can speak to those of you with light in your hearts and not be shunned as someone who is just out there speaking their mind. But you will take it to heart and you will feel the energy of love and joy and understanding as you have never felt it before. I only wish that some of you were here so that I could touch you. And let you feel and learn and understand the energy that comes with the purity of light, which you will someday know. But in this world, you must learn, you must learn, you must learn, and keep growing. As I have told my disciples many times, don't doubt, but it's easy for humanity to doubt.
It's very easy. But we can move beyond that. And I want to thank you for listening. And for right now, I will say goodbye. But I will perhaps come again. Because there's so much to tell. But let that sink in for now. Because I see where you are in the world. And I see you gathering and becoming more uniform all the time. And I just want to say blessings to you. Talk to me if you cannot talk to any other. And I will listen. Have a blessed day. Jim? Yes. Hey, Jim. Did you hear it? I heard a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Whew. You want to lay down? No, I'm okay. I just have to... I feel real... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I want to laugh. <laughs> so, very, very okay, joyful. So, finally, we got Jesus coming. <laughs> I didn't hear everything he said, but he seemed pretty, he was very happy, <laughs> that's for sure.